Hey guys, so I'm back with my computer and today we are going to learn how to add the logo or the image or not the image you can say actually not the image but this logo right here as you can see at the top left corner of the window so how to add this icon on our window so here I am going slowly with tginter I am showing you how to do step by step all those things how you can do how you can customize window size and all but now in our further videos we will go and we will dive deep so up to this video we, we were learning some basic customizations of the window showing some text which are the basic things okay so in our further videos we will do that okay so with that said uh, we have this code from my previous video uh, if you haven't watched it yet then you can find the link of that video in the i button now and you can also find the link of python programming playlist in the description below so with that said now let us continue and now i will delete all these things okay i don't want all of the, the, that mess here so we have root is equal to tk which is the initialization then we have root dot main loop and as you know we write everything that we want to do with our printer in between here so here i will create root dot geometry so first we will set the geometry let's say uh, 300 or 400 by uh, 400 okay so we have this 400 by 400 window now here i will use root dot icon bitmap and here i will pass the name of that image but currently i don't have any icon installed so now let's head over to this uh, let's open our browser and let's search for dot ico icons and here you will find this free icons png ico icns and vector files okay so you can find this link icon dash icons.com simply head over to this website now here you can search for what logos do you want so let us go with coding here so here as you can see we have these logos and i think this logo is good so I will go and click on this then I will close this ad and you will see some ads because this is uh, open source website this is free website and that's why you will see ads now here you have several options like PNG SVG ICNS but we want this ICO so simply download this ICO or SVG okay so let us download this SVG and here we'll wait to download uh, to uh, for our download to start now we have our download here completed now open your uh, explorer and head over to the downloads here you will find that downloaded file i will change the name to icon so we have this icon right now and i also have a ico file installed which is this notepad icon but we will use this so i will simply cut it from here and i will paste it in my uh, tkinter tutorials and here i will paste it now here we have the icon and now open your pycharm and here as you can see we have this icon.svg file so what we have to do is we simply have to provide icon.svg which is the name of that file or else you have to provide all that path like c then user stock your downloads and all that path but we don't want to do that lengthy stuff here so that's why i have provided this icon.svg here directly and you can do that so simply keep this icon.svg in your current directory so which are, whichever folder is open here this icon.svg should be in that folder and then and only then this will work or else it, it will say icon.svg is not defined or can't can't find uh, icon.svg now let us run it now as you can see we have this chrome logo not chrome age logo here and which is not something that we want but still we have the logo which is changed and let me comment out this line to show you the default logo so the default logo is this feather okay so this feather is the default logo but now we have this okay so let me uncomment this line save it now let me run it now here as you can see we have this uh, chrome not chrome edge microsoft edge logo so which is not something that we want because this is svg image we are facing that problem but now let us try the same with the ICO image. Now let me rename it, let's say icon1 and I will simply cut it from here and I will go to my kinder projects and here I will paste it and I will delete this icon. Okay, so I have this icon1 now, let me zoom in a bit. So as you can see we have this notepad icon 
and currently as you can see we have icon one now and dot ico as you can see we have this file here which is icon one dot ico so we'll use icon one dot ico now we will save it and here now let me run it so after running the code as you can see we have this uh, notepad logo here okay so we have this notepad logo and the title is tk which is the default title so now if you are creating a notepad you can set the title like root dot title and here we can set the title to let's say uh, the basic text editor a basic text or let us simply say text edit or edit it edit it which will be a name of that text editor you can say so we have edit it which is which will be the name so now let me run it so as you can see we have this title here with a beautiful ico icon so just like that you can set the icons in your uh, tick inter window you can change the title as we see we, we have so as seen before the uh, scene before so here you can see see that we have changed the default feather logo with this amazing uh, notepad logo so just like that we can change the icons so in this video i show i uh, told you how to change the icons and everything so that was it for today guys and thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video